You guys think I can do like a, like one of those late night radio DJ voices? Like, hi, how are you doing? How is everyone doing? It's a great night tonight. Why don't you just sit back, relax, and listen to the sound of my voice as you fall asleep. So there was a, there used to be this, um, uh, this is a long time ago, uh, when I used to listen to the radio. There, we have a channel, we have a station here uh, called KOIT, and they play like soft rock, uh, like classic rock, those love songs and stuff like that. And there used to be a late night um, DJ named Delilah, and she had this great voice, this just soft soothing voice right and she doesn't she didn't speak much because it's a it was like a music channel she didn't speak much but when she did it was like ah oh, what a good voice and yeah and I, I would i remember driving so i used to drive home late from school because uh, I, I think i had a late class or something and i would drive home late in the evenings from school and i'd be really tired right and then when her, her Plus that, my tiredness, plus her voice, just makes you want to fall asleep while driving. So I would be driving, and I'd be, like, taking mini naps. I know, it sounds really bad. I'd be taking, like, smaller like half-second naps. And uh, thank God I didn't crash, but, yeah, I remember, yeah, K-O-I-T, Delilah. So like, if you have a really good voice... I mean, you can do a lot of a lot of things with that. Amanda says someone replaced Delilah. Oh, that sucks. A serious lollygagger. Yep, I identify as a cartoon. That is, that is my identification. All right, guys, should we get started? Should we get started? I have notes on what happened last week. All right. So last week, we had Yilin. Yilin uh, is a nun from the Hangshang School, uh, Hangshang Sword School. And she was retelling her story of how she got kidnapped by this rapist named Tian Bo Kuang. And uh, he, he captured her, um, and he brought her to his cave, right? And he was preparing to do really bad stuff to her. But um, our hero, Ling Hu Chong, Ling Hu Chong comes and saves her. Saves her, right? Ling Hu Chong is the, uh, is the eldest brother or the eldest disciple of the Hua Shang Sword School. <laughs> so he comes, uh, he saves her. Right? He, he kind of fights with Tian Bo Guang, but uh, Yilin runs away. Okay, she manages to run away, but then she gets captured again um, in town uh, by Tian Bo Guang, and he brings her to a wine house and he tries to get her to drink with him. And um, then Ling Hu Chong also comes in. Uh, did my face go away? Okay. So Ling Hu Chong uh, uh, also comes into the wine house and he sits down to drink with all of them. Right. And that's. And he, he's trying to get uh, Tian Bo Guang. He fi tries to find a way to uh, r rescue Yi Lin. Okay. Because he his martial arts is not as powerful as that rapist Tian Bo Guang, and that's the recap. And I found out that from Losh, I don't know what your real name is, but uh, I found out from her that or him that uh, that guy Yu Kang Hai. That's not how you say his name. It's Yu Chang Hai. When you see a C. Followed by a vowel, uh, that's kind of a s sound. Dun, 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 dun. All right, that's the recap. Shall we switch to the text? Oh, I have another. S Let's move that window away. All right, you guys. Uh, I remember <laughs> at the end of the previous um, chapter, 
Ding Yi was listening to uh, Ling Hu Chong insult her. <laughs> and then she slaps Lao De Noa for no reason, okay? And he just, he just gets slapped. He was just standing there doing nothing. Okay, Losh says, thumbs up for the pronunciation. Good. That means I said it decently well. All right, let's do this. Chapter 4, Seat Fighting, Part 1. Sister, Liu Zhangfang said, smiling politely. There's really no need to be so angry. Nephew Apprentice Linghu only said that nonsense to Tiang Bo Guang in order to rescue your little apprentice. Did you actually believe he meant what he said? You mean he said all that in order to rescue Yi Lin? Ding Yi was struck with surprise. That is my belief, Liu Zhangfang nodded. Nephew Apprentice Yi Lin, what do you think? Big brother, big brother Ling Hu was a good person, only, only a little bit without manners when he spoke. But master, if you are going to be angry, I dare not continue. Yi Lin lowered her head. Tell me everything. Tell me, tell everything without omitting any details. I want to know what on earth... He, he was thinking, good or evil. If this fellow was really a rascal, then even though he's dead, I will make Old Man Yue pay for it. Ding Yi yelled. Old Man Yue is, or Yue is, um, the master of the Huashang Sword School. So the school of Ling Hu Chong. And Lao De Nua. Yilin murmured her a few words, but, but was too afraid to continue. Keep talking. Don't be so concerned about him. Are you afraid that we won't be able to distinguish between what's good and what's evil? Ding Yi demanded. Yes, master, Yi Lin said. Brother Tian, big, big brother Ling Hu said. We are... So, wait, this is her talking. Brother Tian, big brother Ling Hu said. We are people of the martial world. We live our lives on the sword's edge. Someone with better developed skills does possess certain advantages. But eventually, we all have to count on our luck. Don't you agree? When facing someone that has about the same level of fighting skills, life and death depends entirely on luck. This little nun is as scrawny as a chicken that weighs no more than three pounds. Even if she were as pretty as a goddess from heaven, I still wouldn't have anything to do with her. Her life is definitely more, much more important. Putting women before friendship is wrong. Putting women before life is just plain stupid. It's to everyone's best interest that no one touches this little nun at all. Hannah says, thank goodness for recaps. Yeah, that's why I do them. Oh, I forgot to start our chapter. So we always start our chapter with this. <laughs> Brother Ling Hu, Tian Bo Guang sneered. I thought you were a man that feared nothing. Why are you so superstitious about nuns? Hey, 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 Big Brother Ling Hu exclaimed. I have really bad luck every time I see a nun. It's quite consistent. I simply can't ignore the fact. For example, I was perfectly fit last night before I met this little nun. Then, without even seeing her face, just by hearing her voice, I ended up with three stab wounds from you, which almost cost me my life. If this isn't bad luck, then what is it? That's right. Tian Bo Guang burst into loud laughter. Big, big brother Ling Hu then said, Brother Tiang, I don't want, I don't talk with nuns. Why don't you just let the little nun get lost so we can enjoy our drinks in peace? Trust me, I am, I am, give, uh, trust me, I am giving you valuable advice. Even one touch to that little nun will bring you incredibly bad luck, and when you wander about the martial world, trouble will follow you everywhere, unless you become a monk yourself. How can you risk the three venoms of the world? What are the three venoms of the world? Tian Bo Guang asked. Big Brother Ling Hu put on a very surprised face. Brother Tiang, he said. You have been to many places in the martial world and experienced many things. How can you not know? Of the three venoms of the world. It is indeed well said. Nuns, arsenic, and golden striped snakes. Do not touch for heaven's sake. Oh, nice poem. 
None is the first venom. Arsenic is another. And Golden Striped Snake is the third. And if you notice, among these three, none is ranked number one. These words are common knowledge to the male apprentices in our Five Mountain Sword Alliance. Ding, Ding Yi's anger erupted like a volcano. She struck the table with her palm so heavily that it almost collapsed. What a load of... She swore loudly. At the last moment, she managed to control herself and did not spit out the dirty word. Lao De Noir, who had already learned his lesson, was keeping his distance from her. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get away. Seeing her angry red face, he instantly took another step back. Liu Jiangfang sighed. Nephew of Princess Ling Hu had good intentions, but he may have gone a bit far making up so much nonsense. But let's look at it another way. When one talks with a villain like Tian Bo Guang, if he doesn't speak with conviction, it can't be easy to trick him. Uncle Master Liu, are you saying that Big Brother Ling Hu made everything up to fool Tian Bo Guang? Yilin asked. Of course, answered Liu Jiangfeng. How can we have such silly and rude sayings in our Five Mountain Sword Alliance? In one more day, it will be time for my hand-washing ceremony. I definitely want to have good luck. If anyone had any prejudice with regard to, our, to your respectful school, why would Sister Ding Yi and all these nephew apprentices be so courteously invited to my house? Hearing these words, Ding Yi was mollified. She acknowledged with a slight snort, but complained, what a foul mouth this Ling Hu Chong has. I wonder what scoundrel taught him his manners. Obviously, the hidden, me the hidden, meaning, the hidden meaning behind her comment was that she thought Ling Hu Chong's master, the master of Hua Shang Sword School, was also to be blamed for his students' actions. Sister, please don't be angry, Liu Chongfang said. That Tiang Bo Guang has some top-notch top kung fu skills. Nephew Apprentice Ling Hu could not hope to beat him in a fight, and seeing that Nephew Apprentice Yi Lin was in great danger, he had to make something up in the hopes that the villain would let her go. Think, Tian Bo Guang has been to many places in the martial world, in the martial world, and has experienced many things. It is not easy to fool him. Now, there are certainly stupid people who are prejudiced against nuns, so Nephew Apprentice Ling Hu just used this as his hook. We live in this martial world, and sometimes we have to do what is expedient. If nephew apprentice Ling Hu did not respect the Hangshan Sword School, if people of the Huashan Sword School, including Mr. Yue, did not sincerely respect the three senior sisters, why would he try so hard to rescue an apprentice of the Hangshan Sword School? Thank you for the kind words, Ning Ding Yi nodded. So, did Tian Bo Guang let you go because of that? She turned back to Yilin. No, Yilin shook her head. Big Brother Ling Hu then said... Okay, so remember, she, she calls him Big Brother Ling Hu, right? He's not really her big brother. He's not really her um, blood brother, right? So a big brother is a term you use for someone who's close to you or your boyfriend, right? So, um, so you call your boyfriend... Big brother, and you would call your girlfriend little sister, right? Or or someone who's really close to you. Um, yeah, I just find it funny that she's calling him Oni Chan. And the chat is talking about cats for some reason. Losh says one little cultural background here in the past in China, people had su superstition towards nuns. Seeing a nun was almost like seeing a black cat in the Western world. Well, that sucked. That is not nice. Big Brother Ling Hu then said, Brother Tiang, your Qinggong is the best in the world, but if you are cursed, you can never outrun your bad luck, no matter how good your Qing Gong is. Remember, Qing Gong, Qing Gong is uh, like lightness martial arts or uh, speed martial arts. He can, he can run really fast and jump really high. So Tian Bo Guang is, yeah, he can run really fast and jump really high. He's like, that's what he's known for in, the, in this martial world. Tian Bo Guang seemed a little tentative. He glanced at me and then shook his head. I, c I come alone and leave alone, going where I please. 
Why get so worked up? Since we have already seen this little nun, why not just let her stay here and be our company? Right in that instant, a young man from the next table suddenly drew his sword and rushed in front of then rushed in front of Tian Bo Guang. Are you are you Tian Bo Guang? He yelled. I am. And Tian Bo Guang answered. You evil rapist! The young man exclaimed. I am going to kill you. Everyone in the martial world wants you dead. Yet here you are, bold as can be. You must be longing for death. He thrust his sword at Tian Bo Guang. He thrust his sword at Tian Bo Guang. The moves he used were from the Taishan sword school, sword style. So this is the guy from uh, the Taishan school. And that was him, the apprentice. That was him, the. Wait. And that was him, the apprentice brother. She pointed at the corpse on the door plank. Chu Bai Chang, what a good lad, very good. Tian, Priest Tian Man nodded. Yilin went on with the story. Tian Bo Guang made a slight movement of his body and a knife suddenly appeared in his hand. Sit, sit down, sit down, drink wine, drink, he said with a smile. Then he put his knife back to its sheath. No one knew how it happened, but the apprentice brother of the Taishan Sword School had been slashed across the chest. Blood gushed from the knife wound. He stared at Tian Bo Guang, stumbled a little, and then fell down on the floor. She turned and cast a glance at priest Tian Song. That uncle master of the Taishan Sword School immediately rushed forward to confront Tian Bo Guang and started a vigorous attack. The moves that uncle master used were very good, but Tian Bo Guang remained sitting down and simply blocked them with his knife. That uncle master attacked with over 30 moves and Tian Bo Guang blocked every one of them while sitting down, never even bothering to stand up. Priest Tian Man's face turned dark. He looked at the apprentice brother lying on the door plank. Junior apprentice brother, was that villain's kung fu really this good? He asked. Priest Tian Song gave a long sigh and just turned his head away slowly. Yilin continued. Then big brother Ling Hu drew his sword and thrust it toward Tian Bo Guang as well. Tian Bo Guang blocked the thrust with his knife and stood up. That cannot be right, Ding Yi cut her off. Priest Tian Song attacked with over 30 moves, yet Tian Bo Guang did not stand up. Why did he stand up when Ling Hu Chong only attacked once? How could Ling Hu Chong's Kung Fu be better than Priest Tian Song's? Tian Bo Guang had his reasons, Yilin explained. Brother Ling Hu, Tian Bo Guang said, I look upon you as a friend. When you attack me, if I remain sitting down, it would be disrespectful. Although my kung fu skills are better than yours, I respect your personality. So no matter who wins the fight, I have to stand up. But for that bull, bull nose, well, it's a different story. So bull nose is an insult for a Taoist priest. The, pre the people from Taishan Sword School, they're all Taoists. Hmm, Big Brother Ling Hu said. Thank you for the courtesy. You are giving me too much praise. Then he attacked with three continu continued thrusts. Master, the three thrusts were so swift and fierce, the flash of the sword covered Tian Bo Guang's entire upper body. That is one of Old Man Yue's valued moves, called something like Three Peaks at of Mount Huashan, Ding Yi nodded. It is said that the second thrust is fiercer than the first one, and the third one is even fiercer than the second one. So, how did Tian Bo Guang fend that off? Tian Bo Guang blocked one thrust and took a step back, blocked another thrust and took another step. So he stepped back a total of three paces. Nice moves, he, ch he cheered, and then turned to Uncle Master Tian Song. Hey, Bullnose, why didn't you join him and attack me together? Right after Big Brother Ling Hu began the first thrust, Uncle Master Tian Song stepped back and just stood by the side, watching. I am a gentleman of honor from the Taishan Sword School. Why would I humiliate myself by fighting side by side with such an evil rapist? Uncle Master. Uncle Master replied coldly. Don't mistake Apprentice Brother Ling Hu. I could not help saying he is a good person. He is a good person? Ha <laughs> ha. He is a wonderful person that commits evil deeds with Tian Bo Guang. Uncle Master Tian Song sneered. Suddenly, Uncle Master Tian Song uttered a loud cry 
and then pressed his hands to his chest with a great look of disbelief on his face. Tian Bo Guang returned his knife to its sheath. Sit down, sit down, drink wine, drink, he said. Seeing blood seeping through Uncle Master's Tian Song, Tian Song's fingers, I had no idea what kind of magic knife move Tian Bo Guang had just used. I didn't even see him moving his arm or swinging his knife, and Uncle Master Tian Song had already been wounded in the chest. The thrust must have been executed with extreme speed. I was so scared and started screaming, Don't! Don't kill him! Tian Bo Guang grinned. The little beauty says no killing. I won't kill you then, he said. Uncle Master Tian Song covered his wound with his hands and rushed down the stairs. Big Brother Ling Hu was about to run after him and help, but Tian Bo Guang grabbed him. Brother Ling Hu, he said, this bull nose is too arrogant. He would rather die than asking for your help. Why go, why go asking for trouble? Big Brother Ling Hu shook his head and let out a wry smile and poured two full bowl, bowls of wine down his throat. So it looks like this Tian Bo Guang guy is really powerful, right? He just killed one of the students of the Taishan Sword School. It was just a little, you could barely see uh, his strike. And he uh, severely injured this, this, um, this uncle master, Tian Song. Lash says, no turtle in this chapter, but a lot of bulls. That's right. Oh, I have a list. Okay. We're going to come up with a list of insults. Okay. I have a list that I made. Hold on. I think we have four. But I think we're going to accumulate more. Oh, we have three. What? I thought we had four. So we have Son of a Turtle. That's a... From the... That's a... From the Sichuan um, region. And uh, if you notice, all the people in the, the Qingcheng Sword School, they're from Sichuan. So the people who say that are, are those people, right? Those people are the ones who say son of a turtle. Bullnose is used for Taoist priests. And we had smelly rotten duck egg. Smelly rotten duck egg. That is a, that is a smelly thing to tell someone. You forgot your grandmother had no eyes. Is that a thing? Did we hear that? Did we hear that? Why not? I'm just going to put that in. I like that. All right, you sons of turtles. Let's continue. Master, I was thinking, we Buddhists have five primary prohibitions, and the fifth one is the prohibition against alcohol. Although Big Brother Ling Hu was no Buddhist, it was still not good to drink wine nonstop like that. But I dared not say a thing to him, afraid that he was going to scold me and say something like, Once one sees a nun, those insane words of Ling Hu Chong should never be mentioned again, Ling Yi admonished. Yes, Master, Yilin answered. What happened after that? Yilin asked. That bull knows his kung fu is not bad at all, Tian Bo Guang said. My attack wasn't slow, yet he was able to move three inches back and barely escape my de death blow. Taishan Sword School's kung fu has some real stuff. Brother Ling Hu, since this bull nose ran away alive, you're probably going to have quite some trouble after today. I intended to kill him just now and save you from further trouble, but too bad I didn't quite make it. I get into trouble every day, Big Brother Ling Hu said with a smile. Forget about the darn trouble. Let's drink. Brother Tian, if you had chopped the same way at me earlier, my kung fu is no match for Uncle Master Tian Song. I, I wouldn't have made it out alive. I held back some when I fought with you, Tian Bo Guang grinned. That's because I wanted to, th to thank you for not killing me in the cave last night. I felt very confused. Does that mean Big Brother Ling Hu was actually the winner when they fought in the cave? And Big Brother Ling Hu granted mercy for his life? At these words, everybody showed a disapproving face. They all thought that Ling Hu Chong shouldn't have been so courteous to Tian Bo Guang, who was such an evil rapist. Yilin went on, last, last night in the cave, Big Brother Ling Hu said, I had already tried my best. 
My skills are not as good as yours. How dare I grant? How dare I grant you mercy? Tian Bo Guang burst into a loud laugh. When you and the little nun were hiding in the cave, he said, the little nun made a noise, and I found her whereabouts. But you were still holding your breath, and I really had no idea that someone else was also hiding in the shadows. I was just about to grab the little nun and break all her prohibitions. All you had to do was wait a little bit longer, till I was fully enjoying myself, and then thrust your sword. You could have easily sent me on my way. Brother Ling Hu, you are not a twelve-year-old boy. You know how things are done. I know you are a true man of honor who does not want to kill from behind one's back. That's why you only poked me slightly on my shoulder. Big Brother Ling Hu rebuff, rebuffed him. If I had waited a little longer, the little nun would have, been, would have already been humiliated by you. Listen to me. Yes, I get angry every time I see a nun. But since Hangshang Sword School is a member of the Five Mountains Sword Alliance, and you were attacking one of its members, something like that cannot be tolerated. Well, Tian Bo Guang grinned, if you had just stabbed three inches deeper, I would have lost my whole arm. Why did you draw back your sword after you poked me? I am an apprentice of the Huashang Sword School, Big Brother Ling Hu said. I don't attack people from behind. You chopped me in the shoulder earlier. I stabbed you in the shoulder as payback to get even, so we could fa fight a fair fight. Nobody would have any advantage on the other. Tian Bo Guang laughed loudly. Great! I am glad to make you a friend. Come on, let's drink another bowl. My kung fu is not as good as yours, but my drinking tolerance is much better than yours, Big, Big Brother Ling Hu said. Are you sure? I don't think so. You want a contest? Come on, let's drink. Let's first drink ten bowls of wine each, Tian Bo Guang proposed. Brother Tian, Big Brother Ling Hu said with a frown, I thought you were a real man who wouldn't take advantage of others. That's why I wanted to bet on the drinking contest. But apparently I was wrong. I am really disappointed. Tian Bo Guang looked at him from the corner of his eyes. How am I taking advantage of you? He asked. You know very well that I don't like nuns, Big Brother Ling Hu said. Every time I see a nun, I feel uncomfortable and lose my appetite. How can I still have a drinking contest with you? Tian Bo Guang laughed again. Brother Ling Hu, he said. I know you are trying every trick you can to save this little nun, but I love beautiful women more than my own life. I've picked this beautiful little nun, and I'll never let her go. If you want me to let her go, there is only one way to make me. Uh, people. Oh, uh, QP. Wait, who's saying, who's saying bye? Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Thanks for coming. You in time says bowls? Yeah, they drink from bowls, man. Not just little cups. They drink wine from bowls. Because they're real men. Alright, let's... It's 6 o'clock. Let's take a break. Let's take a 3 minute break. And I'll get some water. I'm back. No, today is today is Chinese folk mu music day. You're not going to get me to change my mind. <laughs> Aka Shodin. Hey, thanks for the kind words. Was that loud? Was that music too loud? I should have made it a little bit less loud. All right, let's do this. All right, spit it out then, Big Brother Ling Hu said. Even if I have, even if I have to go up a hill of knives or swim in a pot of boiling oil, I'll do it. If I hesitate at your request, then I am not a true man. Tian Bo Guang filled two bowls with wine. Drink this bowl of wine and then I'll tell you, he said with a big grin. Big Brother Ling Hu picked up the bowl and said, Bottoms up, and then bolted it down his throat. Tian Bo Guang also drank a bowl of wine. Brother Ling Hu, he said, 
I see you as my friend. The rule of the martial world is that there will be no molestation of a friend's wife. If you agree to marry this little nun, little nun, Yilin's face blushed while she spoke out these words. She stared at her feet, and her voice became lower and lower. At the last word, her voice was so low that people could hardly discern her words. I think she has a little thing for this uh, Ling Hu Chong guy. Which is pretty bad because she's a, she's a nun. I don't think they're supposed to have those feelings. Yes, Yu Hin Tang. Real men drink boba tea. Unfortunately, I don't have that right now. Amy, you're drinking boba right now? What the hell? Why don't you share it with us? What the hell? You can't just say that you're sharing. You have to actually share. Like, it doesn't work that way. Oh, Cupid, thanks. Thanks for those pictures of boba. Sorry guys, I'm just, uh, I'm just mad that I don't have boba to drink. Oh, Katie, hello. Oh no, you were stuck at the other vi video for 30 minutes. I'm sorry. Yeah, there was something wrong with it. I had to, s I couldn't, uh, I couldn't create the other video. So I had to make a new one. So I've been here reading the new one. Hey Lloyd, welcome back. Lloyd uh, has been in the previous streams before. Ding Yi struck the table with her, her palm and yelled, Nonsense! More and more obscenity! What happened after that? In a very soft tone, Yilin said, Tian Bo Guang kept spouting nonsense. For a true man, once his word is given, even a wagon with four horses cannot drag it back. If you agree to marry, marry her, I'll let her go right away. I will also bow to her and apologize to her. There is no other way but that. Bah! Big Brother Ling Hu rebuffed. Do you want me to have bad luck for the rest of my life? Never mention that again. Tian Bo Guang then said, oh, Tian Bo Guang then said a lot more nonsense, such as, Once the hair grows back, a nun is not a nun anymore, and a lot of other crazy words that are ridiculous to speak aloud. I covered up my ears and tried not to listen. Shut up! Big Brother Ling Hu cried out. Stop making such crass jokes. You are driving me insane. How can I still participate in the contest when I am going insane? If you don't let her go, then let's find... If you don't let her go, then let's fight until one of us drops dead. You are no match for me in a fight, Tian Bo Guang said with a smirk. If we fight while standing up, Big Brother Ling Hu said, I am not good enough to challenge you. But if we fight while sitting down, you are no match for me. Everyone still remembered from Yilin's story that Tian Bo Guang blocked over 20 fierce attacks from a Taishang sword school master, Priest Tian Song, without leaving his seat. It was quite obvious that he was very good at fighting while sitting down. Apparently, Ling Hu Chong was intentionally trying to irritate him with these words. When one meets with such a villain, it might be a good idea to irritate him first before attacking, Hu San Chu said with a nod. Hearing these words, Yilin went on. Tian Bo Guang did not get angry at all. He simply said with a grin, Brother Ling Hu, Tian Bo Guang admires your courage and personality not your kung fu. Big Brother Ling Hu immediately followed. Ling Hu Chong admires your fast knife strokes while standing up, but not your fast knife strokes while sitting down. There's something you don't know, Tian Bo Guang explained. When I was a young boy, my legs had problems. For two years, I was only able to practice my, practice my knife skills sitting down. Fighting while sitting down is actually my specialty. Just now, when I was fighting the bull, bull priest, I wasn't really deriding his skills. I was just used to fighting while sitting down, so I got lazy and didn't bother standing up. Brother Ling Hu, you are not as good as I am in this department. Brother Tian, there's something you don't know either. Big Brother Ling Hu also started explaining. Because of the problems of your legs, you had to practice your knife skills while sitting down for two years. That was only two years. My other kung fu skills are not as good, 
but fighting while sitting down, I am really better. I practice my sword skills while sitting down every single day. At these words, all eyes turned toward Lao De Noir, all wondering, is there really a special Huashan sword form that is practiced while sitting down? <clears throat> hey, 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 QP says boba is good, but chunks in your tea is kidneys. Your tea is kidneys freaky. I don't know what that means. Oh, Katie says, uh, my, pronunci my pronunciation of Tianbo Guang is phenomenal. Look at that. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Hey, Evil Sin, welcome back. Uh, he just woke up, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Lao De Noir shook his head. Big senior brother was just kidding. Our sword school does not have such a type of martial arts. Yilin went on with the story. Tian Bo Guang appeared to be taken by surprise. Really? He said. Then I must be ignorant. I'd like to see this Hua Shang sword, Hua Shang sword school's sit, sit. What's the name of the sword art? This sword art was not taught by my respectful master. I created it myself. Big Brother Ling Hu grinned. Tian Bo Guang's face turned solemn at these words. I see, he said. Brother Ling Hu, you, you must be a genius. That is very admirable. Everyone in the hall knew exactly why Tian Bo Guang was so moved. In one study of the martial arts, it was very difficult to create a new set of sword arts or hand fighting forms. One would have to have, one would have, to have both first class kung fu skills and an outstanding knowledge and intelligence to find a way to create new moves. A big school like the Huashan Sword School had been in existence for several hundred years. Each move of Huashan Sword School's martial arts moves was improved and tested thousands of times. It would have been it would have been very difficult to even modify just one of its existing moves, let alone to create a new set of sword arts. Did Big Senior Brother create a new set of sword arts? Lao Dunhua thought to himself. How come he never mentioned this to the master? Yilin continued. Big Brother Ling Hu grinned. This set of sword arts is very smelly. There's nothing to admire about it. Tian Bo Guang was confused. Why? Why is it very smelly? He asked. I was also very confused. A set of sword arts could be bad, but how could it be smelly? Big Brother Ling Hu then explained. Well, to tell you the truth, every morning when I go to the bathroom and sit on the toilet, there are always annoying flies flying around, so I would pick up my sword and try to kill the flies. In the beginning, I could hardly hit any of the flies, but after many days, my thrusts got better, and I could hit some of them. Gradually, my mind and thrusts worked in harmony, and I was able to create a set of sword arts out of thrusting at the flies. When I use this sword art, I am always sitting on a toilet, so of course it would be a bit smelly. Hearing this, I could not help laughing. Big Brother Ling Hu was so funny. How could anyone practice sword arts like that? But when Tian Bo Guang heard these words, his face turned livid. Brother Ling Hu, he said angrily. I see you as a friend, but what you said is just going too far. Are you saying that I am just a fly in the toilet? Well then let me take a look at your... your... People in the hall could not help nodding. It was well known that when first class kung fu masters fought, if one became impetuous, then he had lost 30% of chance of winning. Ling Hu Chung's words were obviously intended to enrage Tian Bo Guang, and now Tian Bo Guang did get angry, so he had already stepped into the trap. Very good, Ding Yi remarked. And then? Yilin went on. Yilin went on. Big Brother Ling Hu chuckled. I practiced this sword art just for fun. I never intended to use it to fight with anybody. Brother Tian, please don't get the wrong impression. I would never compare you to a fly in the toilet. I couldn't help laughing again. Tian Bo Guang even got, got even angrier. He pulled out his knife and smacked it on the table. Well, then let's all sit down and see who's better. Seeing the fierce look in his eyes, I was very frightened. Obviously, he had decided to kill Big Brother Ling Hu. 
Big Brother Ling Hu said, fighting while, fighting while sitting down, my kung fu is better, and you can't possibly win. We just became good friends, Brother, Tia, brother Tian. Why destroy our relationship? Besides, Ling Hu Chong is a true man. I don't want to use what I am really good at to take advantage of a friend. Oh, the chat likes uh, toilet fighting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wished for it myself. Nobody will blame you for taking advantage of me. Tian Boguang scoffed. Brother Tian, are you sure you really want it? Big Brother Ling Hu asked. Definitely, Tian Boguang said without hesitation. And are you and are you sure you want to fight while sitting down? Big Brother Ling Hu asked again. Yes, definitely fight while sitting down. Tian Bo Guang confirmed again. Big Brother Ling Hu then said, All right, if you say so, but we have to establish some rules first. Here it goes. Before one can claim to be the victor, whoever stands up loses the contest. Exactly. Before one can claim to be the victor, whoever stands up loses the contest. Tian Bo Guang agreed. So, what penalty shall we give to the loser? Big Brother Ling Hu asked. Whatever you say, Tian Bo Guang answered. Let me think about it, Big Brother Ling Hu requested. He paused for a second and then said, Very well, first starting from today, if the loser sees the little nun again, he shall behave himself, no impolite behavior or words, and as soon as he sees her, he shall bow in respect and say, Little sister, Apprentice Tian Bo Guang asks after your health. Bah! What do you mean? How do you know I am going to lose? What if you lose? Tian Bo Guang complained. Same for me, Big Brother Ling Hu answered without hesitation. No matter who loses, we, have, we shall have to submit to Hong Shang Sword School to be the Grand Apprentice, the Grand Apprentice of Old Sister Ding Yi, and an apprentice of this little nun. Master, don't you think Big Brother Ling Hu was very funny? If the fight was between them, why would the loser have to submit to our Hong Shang Sword School? And how could I take them as my apprentices? After these words, a slight smile appeared on her face. Her face had always looked upset before. Now, when she smiled, it seemed that ray of sunshine brightened the room. These crude people could say anything. Don't believe them. Ling Hu Chong was just trying to enrage Tian Bo Guang, Ding Yu said. After these words, she raised her head a little and narrowed her eyes, trying to figure out how Ling Hu Chong could win the fight. If he lost the fight, how could he, how could he go back on his word? He, she thought for a while and knew that her own intelligence was far less than the rascal Ling Hu Chong. It would just be a waste of energy. So she asked, What did Tian Bo Guang say? Seeing Big Brother Ling Hu speak with such confidence, Yi Lin said, Tian Bo Guang showed a little hesitation. I guess he was a little worried. Maybe he was thinking that Big Brother Ling Hu could really have some outstanding fighting skills when sitting down. Big Brother Ling Hu kept nudging him. If you really don't want to submit to the Hangshan Sword School, then we'd better not have this contest. Nonsense! Tian Bo Guang excla exclaimed angrily. All right, I agree. Whoever loses will have the little nun as his master. Uh-oh. The stakes have been raised, you guys. I cannot have you as my apprentices, I said in a hurry. My kung fu skills are too weak, and my master wouldn't let me either. Wouldn't let me either. All the people in our Hongshang Sword School, Buddhists or not, are female. How can we? How can we? Big brother Ling Hu. Big brother Ling Hu waved me off. I have made the decision with brother Tian. You simply have to accept it, whether you want it or not. It's not your call. He then turned to Tian Bo Guang and said, Second, the loser will have to swing his knife and make himself a eunuch. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, now the stakes have been raised. Master, what does swing his knife and make himself a eunuch mean? She's so innocent. Many people started chuckling. Ding Yi could not help but grin herself, and a smile finally showed on her strict face. Those were the dirty words from the mouth of a rascal, she said. Good child, it is alright if you don't understand. You don't need to understand those. Those are bad words. Oh, those were bad words. 
Yilin said. I thought there I thought since there are emperors, of course there will be eunuchs. What's all the fuss about? Tian Bo Guang stared at oh, Tian Bo Guang stared at Big Brother Ling Hu. Brother Brother Ling Hu, he asked. You are really sure you will win? Sure, Big Brother Ling Hu answered. Fighting while standing up, I rank 89 among the Kung Fu people in the martial world. But fighting while sitting down, I rank at number 2. Tian Bo Guang became curious. If you are number 2, then who is number 1? He asked. The chief of the demon cult, Dongfang Invincible, Big Brother Ling Hu said. Hearing the name of chief of the demon cult, Dongfang Invincible, everybody face, everybody's face changed color. Noticing the sudden change in facial expressions, Yulin breathed nervously, feeling afraid that she might have said something wrong. Master, she said, did I say something wrong? Just don't mention that person's name, Ding Yi said. So, what did Tian Bo Guang say? Yulin answered. Tian Bo Guang nodded. Chief Dongfang ranks... Oh, wait. Tian Bo Guang nodded. Chief Dongfang ranks number one. I totally agree, he said. But calling yourself number two seemed to be a bit cocky. Can you even defeat your own master, Mr. Yue? I am, I am only talking about fighting while sitting down, Big Brother Ling Hu said. Fighting while standing up, my master ranks at number eight. And I am only number 89, far behind the respectful master. I see, Tian Bo Guang nodded in agreement. Then fighting while standing up, where do I stand and who did the ranking? This is a big secret, Big Brother Ling Hu said in a confidential tone. Brother Tian, since I am having a good chat with you, I might as well tell you, but never let this out, otherwise it can cause great upheaval in the entire martial world. Three months ago, the five headmasters of the Five Mountain Sword Alliance had a meeting at Mount Huashang to discuss the skills of the famous Kung Fu people in the martial world. While they were in a good mood, they ranked the masters in the martial world, they ranked the masters in the martial world, just for fun. Brother Tian, to be frank, although the five masters really disliked your personality, they had great regard for your kung fu skills. Fighting while standing up, you can be ranked at number 14. Priest Tianmen and Sister Ding Yu exclaimed in unison, Ling Hu Chang was talking nonsense. Nothing like that ever happened. So Big Brother Ling Hu was just fooling him again? Yilin asked. Well, Tian Bo Kuang couldn't completely believe him e either. He said, the headmasters of the Five Mountains Sword Alliance are all outstanding and famous martial artists in the martial world. They actually ranked me at number 14. That is really overwhelming. So, Brother Ling Hu, did you present your smelly toilet sword art in front of the five headmasters? If not, how did they rank you at number two? Big Brother Ling Hu said with a grin, This toilet sword art would be too embarrassing to show in public, especially in front of the five headmasters. The sword art looks very ugly, but the moves are very ferocious. I was discussing it with some masters from heretical clans, and they all thought that nobody except Chief Dongfang could defeat the sword art. But Brother Tian, I have to say that even though my sword art is very fierce, besides using it to kill flies while, when sitting on a toilet, it is really quite useless. Think about it, when you are really fighting with somebody, who would agree to sit down and not move? Even though we, are, we agreed to fight sitting down, as soon as you start to lose, of course you would get mad and stand up. You are ranked at number 14 while fighting. You are ranked at number 14 fighting while standing up. So with no effort, you could easily split me. The number 2 fighting while sitting, sitting down. The number 2... Ugh, what? You could easily split me, the number 2 fighting while sitting down, into halves with just one chop. See, your number 14 fighting while standing up is the real thing. And my number two, fighting while sitting down, is just a novel trick. It's nothing to be proud of. <coughs> Orava, yes, you are allowed to post your Instagram name. I will allow it. Hmm, Brother Ling Hu, you are really glib, Tian Bo Guang said. How do you know I will definitely lose to you fighting while sitting down? How do you know I will get mad 
and stand up to kill you. Well, Big Brother Linghu said, if you agree that you won't kill me after you lose, then I won't insist, I won't insist on the eunuch rule. So you, don't, you won't have to worry about having no descendants. Okay, enough tough, and not another. Okay, enough talk already. Let's fight. He raised his arm and flipped the, ta the table. The table, together with all the wine and kettles and bowls, flew to the side. The two just sat there, face to face. One held a knife, the other grabbed hold of a sword. Oh, now they're gonna fight. But I think it's time for a little break again. Amy S says, who wants Linfamy to test an at-home boba tea kit? Uh, me. I do. But are you gonna give me one? I've done it before. Uh, I've had... Uh, I made it before. It was pretty good. Uh, I forget where I got it from. Some... Uh, uh, it was an online order. Um, yeah, but it was pretty good. Korea. Hi, Korea. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. So let's take a three minute break, you guys. A three minute break before this fight starts out. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm back. So QB asked, uh, what is this song? It's the theme song to this old Chinese drama called the Zoo Mountain Saga. Yeah, so you can look that up. I don't know what the name of it is. Torvok says, I like how it got intense for the eunuch bet, and then all of that just got dropped. <laughs> yeah, they got, they got off that eunuch bet re really fast. To be fair, I would too. Oh, Amanda is listening to this. Instead of going to the beach, why aren't, why aren't you at the beach? Well, you shouldn't be at the beach right now, I think. Aren't we under, um, aren't we under quarantine? What is she doing at the beach? Oh, I like that. Aka Shoden. What would you do if you had challenged to a fight a toilet seat master? Alright, the fight begins. So remember the bet? So Ling Hu Chong is fighting uh, Tian Bo Kuang. The bet is that they have to sit down to fight. Okay. They can't stand up. And the first to stand up loses the fight. Or the first to... Yeah. Let's see who wins. I'm getting pretty good at switching the, the screen, right? I haven't forgotten. I didn't forget last time either. Because hmm. I'm a professional, you guys. Professional. Okay, enough talk already. Let's fight. He raised his arm and flipped the table. The table, together with all the wine kettles and bowls, flew to the side. The two just sat there face to face. One held a knife, the other grabbed hold of a sword. Go ahead, Big Brother Linghu yelled. Start your attack. Whoever stands up first, his butt leaving the chair, loses. All right, Tian Bo Guang also yelled. Let's see who's going to stand up first. Right before they started fighting, Tian Bo Guang glanced at me and then suddenly burst into loud laughter. Brother Ling Hu, he said, well done. So you have set up an ambush in advance and intentionally set limits on my actions. As we fight while sitting down, not being able to leave the chair, all your helpers will rush out. Or even if they don't, just this little nun playing some trick behind my back might force me to stand up. Big Brother Ling Hu also laughed loudly. If anyone helps me, then Ling Hu Chong is the loser. Little nun, do you want me to win or lose? Of course I want you to win, I said. When you fight while sitting down, you are the second best in the world, so you won't lose to him. Good, Big Brother Ling Hu said. Then please go. The quicker the better. The further the merrier. 
With a bald-headed little nun in front of me, I don't need to go through the, mo the motions. I will have already lost. He did not wait. He did not wait for Tian Bo Guang to comment and thrust his sword at him. Ah, so it was a plan, right? She can run away now, and he he can't he can't chase after her because he has to sit down on the chair. Good thinking. <clears throat> Tian Bo Guang waved his knife and blocked the attack. Outstanding, he smiled. Outstanding. What a great plan to rescue the little nun. Brother Ling Hu, you are truly a babe hound. What the hell does that mean? But the risk is just a bit too high this time. By then, I finally realized Big Brother Ling Hu's mentioning again and again that who stands up first, loses, was to give me a chance to run away. Tian Bo Guang could not leave his chair, so of course he would not be able to catch me. Hearing this, the listeners all praised in their hearts the, eff the great efforts Ling Hu Chong had made. His skills were not as good as Tian Bo Guang's. Other than that, other than by this stratagem, there really wasn't any other way to help Yi Lin get away. The words, the words babe hound, etc. are all rude words. Never mention them again. Don't ever even think about them in your heart, Ding Yi admonished. Ding Yi admonished. Yi Lin lowered her head. Yes, master. So those were rude words too. I, I see. So you left right away, right? Ding Yi asked. Once Tian Bo Guang killed Ling Hu Chong, you wouldn't be able to get away anymore. Yes, Yi Lin said. Big Brother Ling Hu urged me again and again. So finally I bowed to him and said, Thank you, Apprentice Brother Ling Hu, for, sh for saving me. Let me read that again. Big Brother Ling Hu urged me again and again. So finally I bowed to him and said, Thank you, Apprentice Brother Ling Hu, for saving me. Then I turned around to leave. When I got to the stairway, I heard Tian Bo Guang shouting, Gotcha! When I looked back, two drops of blood splashed onto my clothes. Big Brother Ling Hu had taken a cut to the shoulder. Tian Bo Guang smirked. Well, I think your number two ranking sword art while sitting down is really nothing special. The little nun is here, Big Brother Ling Hu said. How am I to beat you? I am doomed to fail from bad luck. I figured since Big Brother Ling Hu really disliked nuns, if I stayed any longer, he might really die because of me. So I rushed down the stairs. After I got out of the wine house, I could still hear all the clang of metal made by the sword and the knife. Then Tian Bo Guang shouted again, Gotcha! I was very worried and knew that Big Brother Ling Hu must have taken another cut, but I dared not go up the wine house again. I climbed up the roof of the wine house from the side of the building and bent over the roof to look inside the window. What I saw was very frightening. Big Brother Ling Hu was still fighting fiercely with his sword with blood all over him. Tian Bo Kuang, on the other hand, was not hurt at all. After another while, Tian Bo Kuang shouted again, Gotcha! He slashed, the big, he slashed Big Brother Ling Hu's left arm and then pulled back his knife. Brother Ling, Brother Ling Hu, I am being nice this time, he said with a smile. I know, I know. If you had cut a little deeper, my left arm would be gone by now, Big Brother Ling Hu answered also with a smile. Master, how was he still able to smile in such bad condition? You still want to fight? Tian Bo Guang asked. Of course I do. Did I stand up? Big Brother Ling Hu said. I suggest you give it up and stand up, Tian Bo Guang said. Forget about the bet. Forget about the bet. You don't have to ask that little nun to be your master. Big Brother Ling Hu said, For a true man, once his word is out, even a wagon with four horses cannot drag it back. I gave my word. I am still accountable. Tian Bo Guang complimented him. I've seen many tough guys before, but this is the first time. I see a true hero, Brother Ling Hu. Fine, let's call it a tie and stop right here, alright? Big brother, Big brother Ling Hu just looked at him with a smile and said nothing. Blood kept flowing from his different wounds and dripped onto the wood floor. Tian Bo Guang dropped his knife and was just about to stand up when he suddenly remembered that he would have lost if he had stood up. His body had moved upward a little when he quickly sat back and did not leave the chair. Brother, brother Tian, you are quick. Big Brother Ling Hu grinned. Everyone could not help but let out an, everyone could not help but let out an ah of pity for Ling Hu Chong. Yilin continued. Tian Bo Guang picked up his knife again. I am going to use my fast strokes now, he said. 
If I wait any longer, the little nun will have run to Wonderland, and I won't be able to keep up with her anymore. I trembled when I heard his words. I also worried that Big Brother Ling Hu might get killed by him, but I had no clue as to what to do next. Then a, th then a thought popped into my head. Big Brother Ling Hu fought so hard against him just to rescue me. The only way to save Big Brother Ling Hu's life was to commit suicide right in front of them. So I unsheathed the broken sword by my waist, ready to jump into the wine house. Right at that moment, Big Brother Ling Hu's body gave a sudden shake, and he collapsed to the floor together with his chair. He pushed on the ground with his hands and struggled to get up with the chair at his back, but he was so badly wounded that he just couldn't get up. Tian Bo Kuang was quite content, and with, and with a big smile on his face, he said, Number two for sitting down, what rank for crawling. With these words, he stood up. Big Brother Ling Hu burst into loud laughter. You lost, he said. Tian Bo Kuang laughed hard. You were just defeated in such an embarrassing manner, and you are calling me a loser? What did we agree on? Big Brother Ling Hu asked while lying on the floor. Oh, that was the, that's the end of the chapter, guys. Why did we end there? No! The SK says they're gonna get hemorrhoids. Oh. Kuria Adino says, Babe Hound, a guy who scores with a lot of women. Or number two, a guy who measures his worth by the number of women he can have sex with. Nonetheless, these people never seem to be satisfied or happy. Oh, really? I have never heard of that word before, or that phrase. Lake Shepherd says, also, I'm pooping. <laughs> Thanks for that information. All right. Should I continue a little, just a little bit to see what happened? Or should I stop here? Your choice, guys. It's a vote. Should I stop or go on a little further to see what happened? Because I want to know what happened. Me says, I'm laying in bed right now. Oh, that's good. Lay in bed and uh, listen to a story. QP says, yeah, why is that little nun still there? She should have been running away already. Dun, dun, dun. All right, chat is saying continue. All right, we're going to continue a little more. Just, just until we find out what happened. Just a little bit more, guys. And then we'll stop. All right, chapter four. Seat fighting, part two. We agreed that we fight while sitting down, Tian Bo Guang answered. And whoever stands up first, his butt leaving the chair is, is, is. He stuttered the word is three times, but could not finish his sentence. He could only point at Big Brother Ling Hu with his finger in disbelief. He had just realized that this was a trick and he had just been fooled. He had already stood up, but Big Brother Ling Hu had not stood up and his rear end was still touching the chair, although his body was in a very embarrassing position, but according to the agreement, he had already won. People in the hall started applauding and cheering. Only Yu Tsanghai gave a disgruntled snort and scoffed, a rascal playing unscrupulous tricks with the rapist Tian Bo Kuang. What an embarrassment to all decent schools. What kind of crap is that? Ding Yu said angrily. A true man fights with his brain, not his muscles. I did not see anyone in your Ching Chung Sword School act so bravely. Hearing from Yi Lin about how Ling Hu Chong had saved the Hung Shang Sword School's reputation with no regard to his own safety, she felt very thankful deep in her heart and had already disregarded all negative thoughts about Ling Hu Chong. Okay, so I think the chair broke, but the seat was still there, okay? And the agreement was that whoever got his butt off the, the seat first loses. So I think he, Ling Hu Chong fell down, but the seat was still there, so his butt was still attached to the seat. So he won. Okay, and I'm gonna stop. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I know, a little predictable. <laughs> but that's the way it is. This was written a long time ago, guys. This was... When was this? Let me see. This was written 1967 to 1969, serialized. Yeah, this is a while ago. So it can be a little bit campy. Korea says, when's the next story day? So I do this every Sunday uh, at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Sundays, 5.30 Pacific. Yeah, I'm using incognito. I can't let you guys see what I search for, okay? That would be inappropriate. Stuart, well, thanks for coming, okay? I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the videos and stuff. All right, I think we should stop here. Uh, like the previous times, we have a tradition here. Uh, every time we end the stream, we drink this. Okay, so if anyone, oh, let me change the camera angle. All right, we end the stream with this. Some Jack Daniels. Hopefully I don't spill it this time. Man, I spilled a lot last time. I don't know what's going on. All right, cheers. Can you guys see? Cheers. It's good stuff. Janari says, I like that we are little people listening to the stream. I don't think you're little people. You're normal sized people. I love you guys. <clears throat> Alright guys, I love you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, Bigfoot, I'm... Here, okay, fine. Here's what I'm drinking. See it? Lush says you should drink from a bowl next time. Oh, maybe... That's, that's way too much. Maybe I can drink beer from a bowl. That's not too bad. Alright, guys, bye!